On the eve of the national shutdown, President Cyril Ramaphosa informed Parliament about the deployment of thousands of soldiers at a cost of more than 166 million rand. The employment of the South African National Defence Force for service in cooperation with the South African Police Service for the prevention and combating of crime as well as maintenance and preservation of law and order in South Africa under Operation Prosper. 3,474 members of the South African National Defence Force have been deployed effective from 17 March 2023 to 17th April 2023. However, there are those who are critical of too much security presence during the protests. Yes, what we are seeing now amounts to wasteful expenditure because you have a security cluster that is deployed to an imaginary situation as part of a process of demonizing those who have decided to engage in this form of protest, this shutdown. Those who support the presence of the men and women in blue, as well as soldiers, argue that the public is concerned about high levels of crime and violence, as well as destruction of property. The police and the military were heavily criticized in 2021 for their slow and uncoordinated response. And I think for today's event, the security services were well prepared. They had more than enough early warning and especially because of the limited and overstretched resources of the police. Deploying the military in support of the police, I think, is the sensible thing to do. Security was also visible at the Cape Town leg of the protest, which ended up at the gates of Parliament. Authorities say it was necessary for security to be heightened to protect citizens of this country. Lula Mamaja, SAPC News, Parliament.